This guy just crashed his fucking Lamborghini. Oh! Oh! No! 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 I'm kidding, it's not a Lamborghini, it's a McLaren clearly, but that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is to talk about how screwed up, how messed up these social influences are, and how they're taking your attention away from actually accomplishing something. Yeah, I'm making this video recently. The title is Jack Dorsey or Idiot Crashes His Lamborghini. Of course, it's not a Lamborghini. Had to make you click that. Apologies for the clickbait, but he crashes his fucking McLaren while he's texting and driving like an idiot in the rain. There's an issue with this, right? I don't even know who this Jack guy is. I just know he's a hated YouTuber. But when I see things like this on the internet, right, you already have money, fame, clout, status. You have influence on your viewers, which are most likely younger men, younger boys, whatever. You have a youth audience. This is unbelievably ridiculous. Okay? Holy fuck. Oh my god, bro. My whole fucking... Michael, here. Michael. Do you have your film on that? My god. This is what's wrong with modern famous content creators. This is the reason why I have a passion for actually giving good advice and trying to inspire people, whether they're older, younger than me. I want to do good for the world, right? I want to be able to spread a good message. And this is a prime example of where our society's attention span, all the attention we're giving out is going to because there's no way that this kid can just buy a brand new McLaren and crash it. And thank God, I don't think he had major injuries. Thank God he's alive. I don't wish death on anybody. But Really, when you fund his lifestyle, when your attention is giving this guy the ability to purchase more of these valuable items that will attract even more attention, so call it the compound effect, and he goes ahead and he's streaming live, you know, doing what you aren't supposed to do, which is texting and driving, and in fact, it's caught that he crashes, we got to reevaluate ourselves and ask, where are we putting our attention? Where are we investing our money, right? Attention, time, it's, it's an investment. It's, it's honestly probably more valuable than money um, at this day and age. So who are we giving that to? And this is a prime example of how terrible lots of the social new influencers have become, right? They did a study where... They showed that texting and driving is equivalent to being drunk or being high under some type of influence, right? So you have this kid who's super ungrateful, super stupid, and when you have an audience that's watching that, you're going to program the subconscious mind to allow that that's okay. It's okay to text and drive. It's okay for me because, you know, this guy is doing it himself and he's really famous, he's making a lot of money, he has a McLaren, etc., etc. And then he goes and crashes it. So always be conscious of what you're consuming. Again, I make content that is beneficial for the everyday individual. These are not high dopamine, high dopamine hitting edits or high dopamine hitting topics. There's nothing fake about this. So my name's Dylan. If you enjoyed the video, it was my little rant just because I saw this happen. And I'm just like, damn, I'm working my ass off. There's hundreds of thousands, millions of people working their asses off in less fortunate opportunities, less fortunate situations that can't even dream about buying a McLaren. And this guy goes ahead, risks his life, you know, crashes a McLaren that's worth more than some people's houses that they're trying to pay off with their mortgage. It's unbelievable. So if you enjoyed this rant hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button. My content is based around, again, bettering yourself, raw talks, vlogs, how-tos. So appreciate you guys all for supporting. Thank you for watching. Oh, fucking, Michael, here. Michael, do you have your film on that? My God.